build a fuel cell excavator, we have to start from scratch. We rip out everything we've developed and matured over the last 75 years of building construction equipment, and we start from scratch. Everything is ground up, brand new. New supply chains, new manufacturing processes, new suppliers, new everything. With the hydrogen combustion technology, that's not the case. So when we take this machine, everything pretty much is the same. Same cooling pack, same cap, same chassis, same axle. Everything is as it was. The changes really only come in in the cylinder head area. The crankcase and below is the well proven JCG robust box end. Proof in the pudding when we build these machines. When we commissioned that machine there, a team of engineers took approximately six months to build the fuel cell machine there and six weeks to actually start it. That's how big a job it is. This machine here, Tim, how quickly did we build well, we this? Prior to lunchtime, drop the engine in, three o'clock the following uh, Thursday, we're driving. That should give you some kind of perspective on just how little it changes. It's serviced and supported in exactly the same way. A um, couple of points to note while we're here on this side of the engine. Number one, ABH2. Such is the belief that this is the right technology for our customers today. Our chairman has put his name to it personally. We believe this is the right technology for our customers. Secondly, oil, quite an interesting one. Anybody ever dipped oil? In the vehicle before. What colour is it? Black. black. Do you know why it's black for a bonus point? Why is it black? Yeah. Blue. It's carbon. It's carbon. Yeah, it's carbon from the fuel. So what do you think a zero carbon fuel was to be Oh, it's clear. <laughs> sure. Let's have a look. How many hours on this tip? 100 now, I think, isn't it? What? Yeah. Such a great visual indication of the, the lack of carbon and what that does. Forward. If I could reach up and wipe my rag around the, the exhaust pit, it would be no stuff. It is so cool. So really, when we're building these products and um, servicing them and supporting them, it's exactly what we know today. We're ready to go with this. The only other final change which I'll talk around is the fuel tanks. So let's go around here and have a closer look. So same chassis, same loader arm, same cooling pack. Right, same completely cab. interchangeable. That's it. So the only other change we have on these machines are the hydrogen tanks. So we remove the diesel tanks from the machine and replace that with hydrogen. The tanks we use are an automotive grade carbon composite wrapped tank that you can see just took down here. And then that carries the fuel that regulated down to a low pressure straight away so we carry the fuel at a low pressure thereafter. We store fuel at 350 bar. So that we see as the, the pressure node for industrial equipment and taking some precedence in the industry. And the key attribute that hydrogen gives us over electricity or any other fuel source really is the speed of replenishment. So when the world builds an electric product and indeed a car or an excavator or anything in between, what the world has to do is they size the batteries much larger than their typical median customer. Because the penalty of running out a battery on midway through a job is that the machine stops and they have to wait for one or two hours for it to charge again. That's one or two hours the customer isn't earning money. Now the unfortunate consequence is that the typical median customer is then carrying the cost of having more batteries than they actually need. One of the great attributes of hydrogen is that speed of refueling is that we don't have that penalty. And instead, we can right size the fuel tanks for your typical customer, and those that are heavy use customers can replenish in minutes. It looks like a JCB load off, sounds like a JCB load off. Those with a keen ear will notice a slight difference in the combustion noise. You'll notice a slightly, um, slightly soft combustion brought about by the spark condition rather than the diesel knock. But other than that, it starts, runs, operates exactly the same as today's product. It's effectively invisible to the operator. Similar to the fuel cell, what you'll see is you'll get the occasional puff of steam out of the exhaust stack, just like we do with the fuel cell. And other than that, no carbon. Got to do a quick demo for you there. I'm just going to 
bring that in for a close look, and we'll start out again and then look, close look at the back out here. 